for six years now, Democrats have controlled the House, Senate, and governor's seat. You have been part of that majority. Yet despite large tax increases and reductions in labor, the fiscal problems continue. Why should voters rehire you if you haven't got the job done? Oh, I have got the job done because I represent one town in the 169 towns, New London, Connecticut. And I have a track record for bringing money to this district consistently since 2004. And I don't think nobody in this room can argue with that. If you do, I've got the numbers for you. Mr. Soto? Yeah. So, correct. You know, it's, it's crazy up in Hartford. State Representative Hewitt knows that. Um, and as someone who has built a business in the city, someone who looks at budgets every day, knows how those budgets affect people, it's time that we have someone who has critical thinking, you know, a critical thinking lens that can look at that budget and offer some new solutions that haven't been presented in the last 12 years. We know what the last six budget cycles look like under Representative Hewitt, and if we want to go down that road, then we can do that, but I'm hoping that we can go down a new road, right, that's going to help New London win down the road. He talks about 2004. Well, since 2008, New London has lost considerable amount of money for schools. Last year alone, it was $7 million, right? And this is not new money. This is money that's out there that other districts are getting overfunded for, okay? So that money exists. It's about having someone that's going to speak up for the money that we're losing. And that's been started since 2008, and I still have yet to see. Um, this is the first time that we're actually hearing about it because our campaign kind of uncovered that and said, where is this money going? Response? Uh, Representative Hewitt. Well, I did the numbers. I did the numbers on what the school districts that you're talking about is losing. And today I actually did the numbers and it equal to almost $700 million. And I want to know from you when we get through, when I get through with my response, what ideas do you have to fund those school districts for $700 million? Do you suggest raising taxes? Well, I'm not going to be a part of that. Okay, and even if you took the money from the schools that were overfunded and gave it to the ones that was underfunded, you still would be around a half a million, half a billion dollars. That's a lot of money. And I'm not, and when you talk about creating jobs, when I left election, I, I, I'm going to cut you off there just to be fair. The, if you could watch, you both have your timekeepers to I hold up a sign. I want to be fair to everybody. Uh, last word, Mr. Soto, uh, on the issue of. Uh, uh, finances and the state situation. Right. So, I mean, we can talk about $700 million for all the districts in the state, but I'm talking about $7 million. Connecticut Mirror reported on it. We know that we've lost ECS funding. That's the funding that comes from the state. $7 million. Let's think about that. If we just had $1 million of that, we wouldn't be talking about municipal tax increases this year. Right? We're putting a strain on a municipality because we don't have a champion that's asking for that money coming back to New London. Chris? Um, well, I think, you know, every, yeah, I think we went back and forth. I think everyone, I'm, sh I'm sure that issue may come up again. In fact, I know it oh, will. Oh, yeah, well, I'll make sure I'll bring it up. <laughs> yeah. uh, the, the next question is from uh, Tim Carter to Mr. Soto. Uh, 